Brown. The Ravens traded back into the first round to get him. The Heisman winner from 2016, who told us yesterday, said, guys, it feels like my freshman year again. Well, he got better as every week went on in his freshman year at Louisville back in 2015. He finished that up with being a bowl MVP. A year later, he was the Heisman winner. This is a great opportunity for him coming early in this game. He's only, you know, his third game now out of the gate. His focus is on being a pocket passer. We know about his playmaking ability, staying inside the pocket, getting through his reads quickly. And, and directing the ball where it needs to go. I just want to see the game slow down for him. We're, the game was moving too fast in the first couple games. It's got to slow down Lee, for him. And in terms of the dazzle factor, he can bring it. You saw it at Louisville time and time again, Book. Well, I mean, the guy's a fascinating athlete, but that's the thing they talk about, his playmaking ability, making plays, getting outside. That's the number one thing you hear. My question is, can he transition and play that in the NFL? Love to jumping over the guy, but in the NFL, you're not going to be able to do that. He's a playmaker. I just wonder, and when and if, he'll be able to play quarterback in this league. And he's got a great opportunity here on third down. They're going empty. Let's see if he can convert one here early. Third and eight. Jackson takes a deep drop and then slings it with a wobble to it and incomplete as he was looking for Grant. And that's the concern right there. I just wonder, can he make a big impact at the quarterback position in this league? I know he's a dynamic playmaker, but we haven't seen the running quarterbacks make a huge impact. I think of Michael Vick and RG3. They just didn't get it done. He said, listen, I played quarterback from youth football, middle school football, high school football, won a Heisman as a quarterback in college. Who's going to tell me no if I'm getting a chance? Out of the pocket and incomplete as he muscled in. He does so pass. well. He didn't connect on that, but extending plays outside the pocket and trying to use his legs. No, to no, he's need gave him a chance there. Second and ten, going to take a shot downfield. And that was well beyond Jordan Lasley. Let's see if Lamar can get his first completion of the night as he's back all the way up to the 35. And then he will chuck it away. Here's Jackson. Of course, dangerous with his feet when he hits the accelerator. Up and over, ball came out. And the Colts look to have it. That was Quincy Wilson who was right on top of it. Fumble recovery, Colts ball. Love Lamar Jackson and his athleticism getting out of the pocket. But here's the thing about it. At some point, you can't take these shots. We've seen it with Michael Vick in RG3. That may not be a fumble, but it's the shot, the physicality of taking that hit when you're the franchise quarterback. You can't do it with. We'll see Robert Griffin the third a little later on. Here's third and five. Sacked. Thundered down that time. First down. There's a completion for Lamar Jackson as he's able to find Kenneth Dixon. That was really good by him, though. This is a great opportunity in a two-minute. He felt the pressure and just gets it out quick. That's what he has to do. Coach playing a lot of soft zone defense. They're gonna... and he's been leading on Robert Griffin the third as well. Second and three. And another completion here as it's Hayden Hurst, the fellow rookie, the first On his runner. hip. So Hurst has this speed. We saw him at South Carolina. He did a lot of great things. He's athletic, but he's got to learn the nuances of running routes. You've got to come back to the ball because they're closing quickly. Good route by the young fella. 35 ticks left in this first half. I'm doing it again. Jackson had a curl out of it. Going to try to get that corner play coming up here. Lamar Jackson backing all the way up and then throws it away. Second and ten. Jackson to the end zone well beyond Hayden Hurst. I like his mindset, though. Line. Really like his mindset. He's taking a shot. It's a high throw. You don't want to leave it low in the end zone. You know, he knows that his kicker can make this kick in this area. Just taking shots. See if he can still one in the end zone. Well, Witt, I like his mindset, but you got to be accurate with the football. He's only completing 39% of his passes in the preseason. I get it. Deep mindset. Get it downfield. But if you're going to be a quarterback in this league and be a franchise guy, you have to be accurate from the pocket. Can't force it in this part of the field, though, Bug. <laughs> Third and ten. Ooh. He was trying to find Chris Moore. For his offense, we haven't seen that from him tonight. 
you know, we saw a zone read play there, Witt. I'm really interested interested to see is Marty Morningwood going to call the college plays or is he going to call the pro plays and get his guy comfortable in the pocket second and eight play action Lamar steps up in the pocket here's where he gets the engine revving and able to turn the corner and pick up that first down when he makes a decision snap of the fingers and he's gone 10 yards from Lamar Jackson and watch him get outside the pocket when he gets there four-man rush he understands he doesn't like what's open he just turns the corner. And he's got difference making speed. That's what he can do. With these six man box, he's going to keep running it. Coming off the zone read. Made the first man miss as he worked his way inside the 10 yards. It's good to see them mixing in the zone read, though, because if he's going to be in at quarterback, you have to add this part to the game. Joe Flacco, not so much. But with Lamar, you're going to have to add that part to his Do game. I feel they're doing him a disservice by running so much zone read. He's got to learn to play from the pocket, though, Whit. Play to his strengths, man. Play to his strengths. Let's see what we get here on third and two. Jackson, third and two to the end zone, and it is caught. That was Chris Moore with the seven-yard touchdown from Lamar Jackson. That's a called play action to get him outside. They run a high-low read. We got one guy deep on the, on the, in the red zone. They got another one in the flat. You see it. He's just reading it. Low to high, really not there. Then, boom, he squeezes it in there. Those are the throws that this kid's got to make. That's tough to do right there on a dime. That's tight coverage. Accurate throw. Chris, there's plenty still to work towards. Here's Jackson backing up as he's able to find Thompson. We had a good looking run moments ago. He's Turnover gonna... on downs moments ago when they were at the two yard line where they first in goal. There's a check down to Gus Edwards from Lamar Jackson. You know, I'm really liking what I see in Lamar Jackson right now. He threw the touchdown early. Now he's getting more comfortable in the pocket. Just getting the ball out of his hands. That's all you want to see from your quarterback. You don't have to make every play. Allow the people around you to make plays. Now comes the money down on third down in the National Football League. Third and five. Jackson, that was batted away. That was a nice play by Quincy Wilson as Jackson was trying to connect with Jordan Lasley. And Lasley's a rookie here at wide receiver. It just seems like it's a reoccurring theme. They have to get separated.